Hey there, Chicago Bears fans. It is your lovely host with the most. It is the Reister. Anyway, Chicago Bears fans, once again, this will be another Chicago Bears special video. The season will be here before you know it. I am looking forward to it. Anyway, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink. Or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill with your and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this lovely, interesting subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the arc will be down below. Once again, there will be a link, and don't worry, Chicago Bear fans, I will discuss my social media accounts after this video is completely over. Already then, now, you guys know, I think, last Wednesday, the Chicago Bears start their training camp. So that is awesome. We're getting ready for the upcoming NFL season. Hopefully, these guys stay healthy the whole entire season and surprise the fans of the NFL and even the Bears fans. Now, the media and people on the internet, they say the Bears are going to have not many victories in their win column. That's fine. We won't be under the radar. I know Justin Fields is still not the answer. I know he's working with J DJ Moore. Yes, in training camp. And, of course, when he's throw against the defense, it's the secondary or third um, defense. It's not the first defense they're facing. So it's not really a big deal. I don't know why people get very excited. Oh, wow. Justin Fields is throwing down the field. Why the hell he didn't do that in the regular season? Justin Fields is a great player. Yeah, runner. But he has not proved to anyone he could throw it down the field really far. And plus, he wants to get 400 yards this season. Yeah, good luck with that. He needs to stay healthy. The receivers need to stay healthy. The O-line needs to stay healthy. If none of it works out, then once again, he's going to run like the Dickens, like he did the whole entire season. If things work out in his favor, the O-line is intact the whole entire season. The receivers stay healthy. Maybe he will get the 400 passing record. But if not, it's going to be a very, very long season. You know? Maybe he shouldn't say that kind of stuff. Maybe he should just shut his mouth and just play by ear. Because if he if he failed to get 400 yards this year, the media will rip into him. The Bears fans will rip into him because he jinxed himself. And I don't think there's no such thing as a curse. It's all in people's heads. Just like the man and curse. There's no such thing as a man and curse. There's no. It just... The NFL is the most physical, dangerous sport in America. It happens. No NFL player has ever not get hurt in their career. They get hurt eventually. It might be a season injury. It might be their season career. But eventually, in their life, they get hurt. And of course, if they're on a the cover, they blame it on the Madden cover. No. Don't believe in that mumbo-jumbo. It happens. Okay? Sorry, I'm just going a little overboard here. Okay, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is a good price or not? Do you think this is... Look, he's only 25 years old. Now, hopefully, he steps up his game even further. I don't know what was his stats last year. I don't know. But he needs to stay healthy the whole entire year. There's all the information down below. So... Now, there are some reporters, some experts, says the Bears will make the as a wild card. That's fine, but will the Bears win a wild card game? Probably not. Now, the the other teams are in front of the Bears, Philly. They have more experience than the damn Bears. Um, there's a lot of other teams that have more experience. The Chiefs, I think the AFC is, is a lot more stronger than the NFC, okay? Now, probably you know that Aaron Rodgers took a pay cut to play for the Jets. Do you think that's going to kick, I mean, bite him in the butt because he then took a major payroll? I'm not really worried about the Jets. I think Jets are just 
this season. I don't know what to, what to say. And then you know already that um, Hard Knocks and HBO are working together. This time with the Jets. Bitters don't want to do it. I don't know why. Maybe because there's not enough drama. There's a lot of drama with the Jets. So we'll see. So hopefully the Bears will surprise everyone in the NFL. The fans and even the media. Justin Fields needs to stay healthy and play smart football. This is what his third year in the NFL. Now if he has a very successful year and then year four falls back to reality, then I don't know what the hell the Bears are going to do. Once again, they're going to go in the draft and pick up a quarterback. they got to go through. He's got to learn the damn system, and then that takes forever. Some guys can learn it very well. Other guys are just a total bust. It happens in the NFL. Not all NFL drafts are going to be a future Hall of Famer. No, it does not work like that. Now, I know you're going to say, what about Justin Fields? Is he a future Hall of Famer? Oh my gosh, he has a long, long way to go to go in that direction. You know, hopefully he can throw it down the field. Hopefully he does not throw it when there's triple coverage and you get a pick off, a pick six, incomplete. Hopefully this guy improved from last year to this year. If not, it's going to be a very, very long season. Now, everyone out there, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts. Will be down below now. If you want to be a part of the Robert Show, that's fine. The ending. If not, don't worry about it. See you guys on Wednesday edition. Always go Bears. Peace out and stay safe.